All right, guys, another day of owning a dump truck and another broken part. Um, so now there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, there's nothing wrong with this particular truck. I actually think the truck's a great truck. Uh, we just run it hard, we run it a lot, and uh, things break. You know, we're almost to the point of having a new dump truck uh, with, with all the things we've done. So eventually things will slow down, but uh, I have a clicking, clacking noise uh, when I break in the front right side. I found out that there's a problem with the front caliper, so I wanted to show you that and uh, get this caliper replaced. So I noticed some noise on when I was braking, and uh, here's what we've got. Okay, so there's a bracket that's supposed to, or there's a, like an I-beam piece that's supposed to be right here, okay? It's supposed to create tension with a piece of spring steel. Sometimes they come off. So that is a noise it makes. So we're going to get this jacked up. We're going to undo these. They're an inch and a quarter bolts, uh, nuts, inch and a quarter nuts. Uh, undo those. Get this wheel off. The caliper won't come off in this situation because the wheel keeps it on there. However, it will. Uh, cut the back side of the caliper and it will impact its ability to be retained there so I have a new caliper as well so we'll get this jacked up and uh, get this caliper fixed okay so these nuts are uh, one and a quarter inch and we're just gonna loosen them we're not taking them off Now, with this wheel style, you, it doesn't matter as much on the front, but you always want to um, leave the nuts on. In the rears, these are actually active more of an edge, more of a wedge, I'm sorry. They act as more of a wedge. Um, and they can actually bound so much that when you take the nuts off, the wedges stay in place. You whack the tire, and the nudges go flinging, and you lose uh, all your front teeth, or it doesn't feel very good to knees or shins either. So you always leave the nut on uh, until the wheels are completely loose um, so that you can actually knock these wedges loose and, and the nut is keeping it retained uh, so it doesn't come off and, and hit you. But uh, it doesn't, I haven't had it happen as much in the front because it's more of an overlap in the front and less of a wedge. But I'm going to go ahead and, um, you can see that caliper right here hitting on that rim. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get the front end jacked up and then we'll get this tire off. We have this jacked up. It doesn't look like it, but it is. <clears throat> I don't like putting these up too high <clears throat> because uh, it's just a pain. So these wedges are loose. See this? These wedges I can move. Well, that one I can't yet. This one I can't. You see how those wedges have no tension on them? They're fine to take all the way off. There's no tension on them. You want to be a lot more careful in the back, making sure you leave the nuts on until all of them have no binding. See this metal line all the way around the caliper? You see that? Or all the way around the wheel? Guarantee you that's from the caliper. Now you can see this better. See? Caliper. Completely off right here. Completely off. We have, it does, the pass don't feel bad. The rotors don't feel bad. Um, we're going to go ahead. The good thing is it sets so nicely. You know, normally you got to tie them up on a coil or something or a spring. Um,
Okay, sorry. Um, we're gonna get our other one out of this box. So here's our new caliper. Nice and shiny. Already pressed in and everything for us. <clears throat> it came with uh, the ble new bleeder screw. This is that spring steel I was talking about. I'll show that in a minute, how that works. And uh, this uh, nut that has a shoulder on it, and it goes up here. Came with a new one of those. So, we'll be right back. This is actually shiny, okay? This was actually rubbing on the inside of the caliper. I can show that to you here. <clears throat> See how the inside's shiny right there? That's rubbing, that's some rubbing on the, I'm sorry. This is this ca this spot on the caliper is from rubbing on the uh, disc. Um, and then if you look on the caliper, right, you've got this shiny metal here. That's from rubbing on the uh, wheel. Um, the problem is, is these are lips that go here, and so if those wear down, you lose your ability for the caliper to be retained. Like I said, there's no, there's no, it doesn't bolt on like. Uh, most vehicles do. We are going to find the how we want need the springs to orient and we're gonna prep up this next caliper. All right they get loaded up like that so what you have to do is you have to push the pads in in this groove here right push the, the pads come in from the bottom into this groove here and then they slide that way and they slide that way. That was impossible to try to render on a video and then this lip here catches on that right there see how that overlaps right there it catches it can't come out from the bottom okay it catches on that that overhang and then you can see this here right that's when you use one of these okay and they wedge in here they ride like that. You see how that could can retain it? I know it's sloppy and it looks like you wouldn't believe that's what's stopping these trucks, but that's what happens. And then you put this in and you drive this in and that creates tension. Now I got to go look at the driver's side to figure out which side needs to keep tension because I can't remember what side this goes on, but I will be right back. According to my driver's side, this spring steel goes on the side with the holes and these tabs point towards the caliper. So, basically, like this. And what I found last time is that it was easier for me to get that started. I can't really remember. It's been a while. See, that's not right. And it's not right because this tab, the bottom tab, has to ride underneath this. If you can kind of see that, it's got to ride like that. They're not fun to do. I swear in the past I must have, I thought I drove, drove this in after the fact. It doesn't want to start. 
could try the other way. That might be what we got to do right there. Unless I'm, unless my driver's side's wrong, but I've never had a problem with my driver's side. Guys, I might be wrong. I may very well be wrong. That might be the configuration right there. find see if I can find a something to confirm on that because that's backwards of the way my other side is but I didn't do my other side so although my other side is different um, it appears that the uh, the bracket goes this way so it goes against the caliper okay it's like it goes against the caliper and points towards the wheel assembly that appears to be the way it goes which would make sense because that kind of forces that underneath that lip but it looks like that's the way it goes I did also do a couple Google searches and some looking at threads and it appears that other people are orientating it in the same configuration so we're gonna go ahead and button down this bolt as soon as I go get an adjustable wrench so we've got we went ahead and tightened up that nut and we took the it came with a new bleeder so we put the new bleeder in I didn't want to reuse the old one and then we've got uh, this thing here I don't have a new copper washer but we'll watch for leaks on this um, and uh, I'm just trying to make sure this is clean fairly clean The nut for the retainer on this was a 3 8 on mine, which we just used a little tiny socket for. Okay, and then to using the adjustable on this.
I think I just had so much wear down from from the uh, from when it was rubbing the rim. I just think that it just didn't couldn't couldn't hold it anymore. So um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna try to go locate a piece of tubing I can use here for this bleeder, and we're gonna get this uh, get this bled up. Alright guys, so I know there's not a lot of videos out on this uh, these older F700s, so I hope that uh, if you uh, had a weird brake noise in the front or you were looking to review how the calipers come on or off on this F700, I hope that you found this video useful. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe and we'll continue bringing more videos of things around the homestead. Thanks.